Let's talk about colors. This is a very popular topic and every time I share some vivid mode settings, a lot of people like it. They tell me, bro, thank you. <laughs> this looks amazing. And people like it so much that some of them are even willing to pay money for vivid mode settings, <laughs> okay? Of course, I don't charge anything. I just like to share the things that I learn and I am not an expert, okay? I just enjoy doing this. And I want to share with you something that I learned uh, yesterday on the live stream with gaming tech. Something that got me thinking. I kind of had an idea about this, but I didn't have this very clear, okay? It doesn't change my recommendation, uh, though. If you like to see vivid colors all the time, <laughs> you increase the color saturation. That's exactly what you do. And my recommendation has always been just make sure that you're not clipping colors. Okay, you want to see vivid mode all the time, colorful picture. You increase the color saturation, you push the color gamut. So for example, on this LG OLEDs on SDR, the auto uh, setting, the color gamut on auto means SDR colors. Okay, so if you want a more colorful picture, you change that to native color gamut and you do get more saturated colors okay if that's what you enjoy of course if you see a colorful picture all the time it kind of loses the effect okay but some people like it some people want to enjoy that all the time nothing wrong with it so this doesn't change my recommendation increase it push the colors outwards and enjoy that but this is very interesting. This is a very interesting comment here from Classy Tech Calibrations, who is a professional TV calibrator. He has a YouTube channel, link in the description of the video. I like his content. I watch all his videos and I learn a lot from him. And it was very interesting, this comment, I took a screenshot. He said, increasing color saturation will not increase colors. It will reduce, it reduces the amount of visible colors. I was like, Huh, what is he talking about? What is he referring to? Because of course, he's not wrong. <laughs> I just wanted to figure it out. And luckily he elaborated. He said, okay, you are reducing colors in the inner parts of the gamut and pushing them outwards. And because of that, it reduces the shades of low mid-range colors. And what I was like then, okay, I was thinking about it. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, it makes sense. But now here's the thing, of course there is a limit. Even if you have native color gamut on SDR here on this LG OLED, if you reduce the color depth, you're gonna get a less colorful picture. But he's not talking about getting a more or less colorful picture. He's saying that you don't get more visible colors by increasing the color saturation. He's saying if you increase it too much, you're gonna get less colors because you're reducing the shades of low mid-range colors okay i've never said that you get more colors by increasing the color saturation but you do get a more colorful picture of course so why is that what 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 is he referring to and is this something that is a problem is this something that you can see here's the thing i've been testing today with multiple test patterns that i created okay some of the test patterns that I already had, I created some test patterns on paint from zero to 255 of the color red, all sizes to see if I was able to notice a problem in the low mid range of the gray scale. And I cannot, of course, I see the changes, but it is not like suddenly I do not have red shades of red of, of course so you still see red it changes i don't see the problem with that so my recommendation doesn't change if you like to see vivid colors increase the color saturation and make sure you're not clipping that's my recommendation still and of course as a professional tv calibrator he doesn't care about you getting a more or less colorful picture he cares about accuracy okay and accuracy means the creator's intent okay he cares about setting up the tv settings so you see 
the color that you are supposed to see with the brightness that you are supposed to see, okay? And that is awesome. I would love to learn how to do that, okay? But here's the problem with that. Let's say that you are, and this is the reason why a lot of people like Vivid Mode. Let's say that you are playing a game and the grass on the game looks desaturated to you, okay? It looks bad to your eyes. What are you gonna do? <laughs> so, if you know for sure that your TV is perfectly calibrated, or as good as it, it can be calibrated, and you are okay with the creator's intent, okay, that's it. But most people, are they don't have the TV calibrated. They are not used to a calibrated picture, and they don't care about the creator's intent, especially for gaming. And what they are looking at looks bad because it looks desaturated. It looks bad for, bad for them, okay? And that's why they like Vivid Mode. They do not want to see that grass looking desaturated, okay? And I've seen that in some games like Uncharted, okay? In Uncharted The Lost Legacy, there's a scene where you are in the forest driving a car and the green is just too desaturated. It looks bad. It looks very, very bad. And I have to push the colors. In that game, I have to push the colors. And by pushing the colors, you just need to understand that what's going on. And what's going on is not, not that you are getting a more colorful picture. It's that you are getting a more colorful image, even if it is not supposed to be that colorful, okay? And you are not getting as much separation as you would get if the TV was you know, perfectly calibrated, okay? So let's say that you have two reds. One red is 200 and the other red is 255. Or let's say you have 100 and 150, 200. Those values are supposed to look exactly in a certain way. If you push the colors, they are going to look more saturated. All of them are going to look more saturated and they are going to look closer to each other. And that's it. <laughs> that's what's happening, basically. So the only thing that I don't see is what he's saying, which is basically that you are reducing the shades in the low mid-range colors. I, I tried to create test patterns to see that. And maybe... I am saying it, but I just don't see it as a problem. I see the changes. I just don't see that suddenly by having vivid mode. Not the vivid mode that comes with the TV. Just by increasing the color saturation, making sure that you don't get clipping. I just don't see that by doing that, I have a problem suddenly in the low mid-range. But I can definitely see that if I play a game or watch anything, I just don't have desaturated colors. Everything looks saturated, and that's that's what he's saying. It's, it's exactly that. So if 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 you don't see those low mid range colors very often, yes, you're you're losing that, basically. But yeah, it's something that got me thinking. It's definitely a comment that you read the first time. And you're like, what? Increasing color saturation will not increase colors. That's what most people think. That just makes sense. I am increasing the color saturation. <laughs> I'm supposed to you know, get a more colorful picture. But yeah, he's talking about amount of shades of colors, okay? Which is not the same as having a more or less colorful picture. He's just calling the attention that if you try to get vivid mode, basically you are not getting something that is um, I mean, I don't want to change the, you know, this is what he said. <laughs> I don't want to put words in his mouth, but I kind of understand the idea. Okay. I kind of understand the idea. Of course, as, some, as someone who knows, um, and calibrates TVs and all of that, he sees the value of accuracy because if the TV is perfectly accurate, you're supposed to get a more natural picture, a more balanced picture that it is better. The thing is that when it comes to colors, it is always subjective. And it, it is hard to say, even for some someone who, who is a professional, it is hard to say, to state that 
you know, if you like vivid mode, you're wrong and and a calibrated picture is objectively better. Okay, because it is subjective. If you don't like to see a desaturated picture, you increase the color saturation and you enjoy that. Nobody can tell you that that's wrong. <laughs> that's the problem. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. I was just thinking about this for a while and I'm thinking about, of course, I'm picturing myself when you see the calibration reports and all of that, you see the, 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 the points that they measure and, and I picture in myself those things going outwards, pushing the color gamut outwards. I'm picturing myself that I just don't see this, this problem with a test pattern. Okay? I, wish, I wish I could see it. So I can tell you. So if I can see this on a test pattern, if I see on a test pattern, okay, if you increase the colors, you have this problem. So for example, if you increase the colors too much and you start getting clipping, that's a problem. And I can tell you 100%. You might like you might like to increase the color depth to 100%, but that is objectively worse. I can definitely say that. It is objectively worse if you are clipping colors. Okay? But as long as you can see a difference, a separation from zero to 255, the full range, I don't see the problem, okay? And what's gonna happen is that the, the higher end is gonna look more similar if you increase the color saturation too much. And yeah, that's a problem, but it's not a deal breaker, basically. Like, I cannot say that that is objectively worse, basically. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you know better about this kind of stuff, let me know. And of course, classy, if you watch this video, illuminate me with your uh, knowledge. I like, I am an enthusiast. I've been getting into this kind of stuff. I'm not an expert. I'm trying to figure things out because I enjoy it. I enjoy sharing what I learned. And this, is, this was definitely a very interesting uh, comment. And I spent all day basically today creating <laughs> test patterns which by the way if you want to create test patterns to see this this kind of stuff for yourself it's very easy here on paint on windows you can just do this this is what i did i use this tool this a straight line tool then i select the colors here and then i change here for example red let's say red 255 0, 0, 255 okay for example and then I do this I come here and I paint it and it, you see it's a thick line but you might think oh that's too small I want it to be big on the screen no problem after you paint some of them let's say you come here you paint 250 and you do this you put it one next to each other so you can see clipping okay so you put them one next to each other you don't want any separation so you can you are able to see the clipping the difference and then after you have like three four five of them you come here and you do this and then you copy that and what's gonna happen is you can increase the size of that thing you can you can zoom in and increase the size like resize that thing. Let me, let me get it here. You can right click that thing and resize it to any, any size you like. Not by doing this, you right click, resize, and then you type in pixels here. You say, you know, 3840 by 2160, for example. And you hit OK and boom, it becomes a huge picture so you can see it okay and that's how you do this kind of test patterns it takes a lot of work uh, we have a we have a, a user here on the channel that has created these test patterns uh, cynical creator I appreciate his work this I mean I've, at least for me it was a lot of work these test patterns that he he made are fantastic um, he does it a lot better than me I don't know how he does all of this but it is uh, pretty cool. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you have any questions, what is your take on this? If you like vivid mode, 
there's nothing wrong with that. In my opinion, just enjoy. It's your TV. Okay. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions.